Welcome back to Pearl and Every Cowslip Seer. This is CLE Language Arts 5, Book 2, recorded right here in our classroom, so it's live. Hope you enjoy. Okay, Language Arts 5, Lesson 6, Direct Objects and Diagramming Direct Objects. We'll start with a bit of review, a few questions. What is always the subject of an imperative sentence? Imperative sentence is a command, like, put down the pencil. What is always the subject of that? The subject? When you go to diagram, do you always put the subject in parentheses? It's you understood. Uh -huh. I think you're just resting. Yeah, you understood is always the subject of an imperative sentence. What do you use, what book would you use to find synonyms for a word? Yeah, synonyms or antonyms. Uh, um, that thing. That thing. Thesaurus. Thesaurus. Good. Use a thesaurus. What are the four sentence types? We had imperative already. Imperative. Declarative. Declarative. Exclamatory. Exclamatory. Interrogative. It's a big word. Good. Interrogative. Now, let's look at this first sentence on the board, and we're going to put parentheses around the prepositional phrases. Deer in cold regions are larger than deer in warm areas. What is the first prepositional phrase? In warm areas. Okay, that's one. In warm areas. And what's the preposition? In. In is the preposition and areas is the? Object. Good. Object of the preposition. And is there another one in there? Are large. No. Do you see another preposition in the sentence? In cold Great. In cold regions. And in is the preposition, and regions is the object of the preposition. Okay. Now, for the new lesson, today we're going to talk about something new called direct objects. Now, the direct object in a sentence receives the action from an action verb. So the first thing we need in our sentence, we need a subject, and then we need an action verb, something that's doing something. And then we're going to put another little line here that does not go down through. And out here we'll put the direct object. Direct objects receive the action from the, from the verb. Let's look at the sentence. John kicked the ball. What is the verb? John kicked the ball. What's kicked. the verb? Kicked. Now what receives that action of being kicked? The ball. Ball does. Excellent. So the ball is the direct object. Now... Listen carefully and I'll give you a way to always find the direct object. We start by finding the verb first. So number one, find the verb. The verb is kicked. And then we find the subject by asking who or what kicked. The subject is John. So step two is find the subject by saying who or what kicked. And now we say the subject and verb together and ask who or what. So we say John kicked who or what? Ball. And then we found the direct object. That's how you can always find direct objects in sentences. Say the subject and verb together and ask who or what. John kicked who or what? Ball, and that would be the direct object. So this would be diagrammed. John kicked. And then again, we'll just put this line down here and stop it. Don't come through. The ball, and under ball would be the. Okay, we find a direct object in this next sentence. God created the world. What receives the action? Uh, world. World, excellent. So this is a direct object. Created is the verb, God is the subject. Paul sells little yellow ducks. What's the verb? Let's find the verb first. Sells. Sells. Who or what sells? What's the subject? Paul. Paul. Paul sells who or what? Ducks. Ducks is the direct object. And now let's diagram this one. On the verb line, we will put sells. On the subject, Paul. Paul sells, direct object, ducks. Where do little and yellow go? Where should under, we put? Under ducks. Under ducks, because they both modify ducks. They're adjectives modifying this noun. It's the direct object. So little and yellow. Okay, I think direct objects are a lot of fun. They're the things in the sentence that are receiving the action from the verb. Remember this though, to have a direct object, you need to have an action verb. The verb needs to be an action verb. You can't have a was or a were. 
You can have was hitting, you can have a helping verb, but I am sick has no direct object. Am is not a strong enough verb, it's not an action verb. So we always need action verbs to have direct objects. And that direct object directly receives the action from the verb. It's like this did it to this, the verb did it to the direct object. Okay, finally, before we quit, let's uh, read, I will read the new spelling words to you so you know how they are pronounced on page 26. Backpack, basin, billfold, bottle, briefcase, bucket, there on page 26 is where I'm Briefcase, bucket, cabinet, carton, cistern, that has a soft C on cistern, crock, dishpan, drawer, kettle, pitcher, pouch, purse, thermos, tumbler, vase, vessel. Okay, lots of household items. I hope you can do well on it.